Okay, hi everybody. So, um, in case you don't know me, my name is Robbie. I'm a producer and engineer. Um, worked uh, with a few bands in Philly. Um, you might know me from my band. It's called The Band Ivory. Um, we've had some stuff come out recently. Uh, worked with Lee Lee Lee, uh, My Familiar. Their single's coming out tomorrow. Uh, Heaven Man, uh, Daisy Royce, and done a lot of mixing and mastering for a lot of different artists and stuff over the last handful of years. Um, so this particular song is an artist that I have been working with. We've been working on this project for about um, a year. And we're in the the mixing kind of end of the end of the road stage here at this point. So um, this is a song called Nothing. And just to kind of go over what we've got in the track, um, we have the uh, the drums down here, which are going to be your red colors, um, kick in and out. Um, did a lot of brushes in this session, so I've got a ribbon mic on the snare as well as a 57 on the snare bottom. Rack tom, floor tom, two overheads, and uh, stereo rooms, which uh, were like U87s in um, Omni. So then we have uh, some bongos and tambourine percussion. Uh, those bust... Um, separately uh bass we have guitar it's actually just one track of guitar here that's uh two mics one guitar two mics and uh mandolin there's a mandolin solo about halfway through the song uh banjo and then we've got lead vocals and vocal doubles and some background vocals um Yeah, so that's um the kick in and out is just it's a it's one mic that's in like closer to the closer to the batter head and then one that's on the outside um kind of picking up the resonance of the of the uh, resonant head. <clears throat> so, um before I start with anything real crazy, I'm going to just play the song uh as is. Also, if I didn't mention before, just bear in mind that I'm a little bit of a delay from like where I'm speaking to uh, to where like your comments are. So I will answer them as I see them, and I uh, hope there's not too much of a lag there. <clears throat> so, um, all right, so I'm just gonna play this all the way through. It's a relatively short song, it's about two two minutes, fifteen, twenty seconds. Um, and so this is the rough mix, just kind of as it, as I've roughed it in here, this is Nothing by Max Mason. Things are getting out of hand, even playing in the band has become a chore I don't look forward to. So I'm leaving town and headed west where skies are wide and I can rest my weary mind from all it wants to do. And all I'm looking forward to is nothing. Nothing's what I've got too little of If you need to find me, just drop me a line RFD Missouri Avenue Well, there's books to read and beer to drink Birds to watch and time to think That's what I'm gonna do Paths to walk, porches to sit Fields to mow, guitars to pick That's what I'm gonna do Dust rises from a dirt road that I can't see First car that's been down here about all week The sound of a distant train reminds me of you How I wish that you were here with me And all we'd have to do is nothing Nothing's all we'd want to do If you need to find us, just drop us a line
All right, so that is the song, um, kind of as is. So th- I don't, yeah, I don't have a regular process for kind of uh, for doing something like this, but um, I'm gonna kind of go over what I guess if I had a regular process that might look like. So um, just quick overview on the drums here. Um, when we recorded these in the studio, I did a little bit of compression and EQ on the way in um, already. Um, actually pretty heavy um, EQs um, and a little compression on the kick in and the kick out. I'm sorry, the kick the kick in and the um, top of the snare, the 57 here, and also on the overheads, um, did some compression on those as well on the way in. So I kind of mocked up like a little bit of just what the EQ looked like. These are modeling e- um, plugins that are exactly the same as the actual EQs that I use at the studio. So this is a 560, uh, API 560 EQ and use that on the kick in and the kick out. So this is the settings for the kick in and the kick out. Like roughly this is about how I would have them EQ'd um, on the way in. And um, I use an 1176. This is probably nothing like what the settings looked like on the actual compressor that I used, but it kind of would look like that. Um, 50, uh, same thing here, the 76 on the snare, and this is the 550A EQ that I would have used on the snare. Um, Rack Tom here, 550B has another, this is four, instead of three. A um, little boost, the 100 for the Rack Tom, and deep cuts. I might have cut more than this actually. Um, on the actual thing, it might have been like all the way down around two at the 240, and a little pop here at one five to catch the, uh, you know, impact of the stick on the drum. This is awkward without an audience, guys. Um, I mean, without like a live audience. I'm, I've done this for classes and stuff, but this is kind of weird talking to myself. Uh, so. Rack tom, I'm sorry, this is the floor tom. We've got the boost at 50 instead. Same cut, uh, probably deeper than this in real life. And same thing there. Just a little boost on the high end and low cuts for the uh, overheads. So that's kind of what I did on the way in. So let's just take a listen to the drums. If I can get the group to work right. All right, take a listen to the drums here. I'm just gonna start from where they kind of come in with the beat here. So you can hear he's playing with brushes. Um, This is a pretty punchy kick drum. Uh, Maybe a little punchier than I would normally go for this kind of a song. Um, So, Here's something that I wanted to do here. And so we've got these room mics. Let's go ahead and just solo out the room mics by themselves. So you can hear the, and that's literally just um, the stereo sound in from the actual room that we recorded it in. So, um, this is the virtual mix track from Slate Digital, and they've got this cool guy called the Monster here, and this emulates um, the all buttons in Trick on 1176, where you push the all the. So it gives it a monster crazy ratio. Um, so as I turn this up, I'm here on the left side, just pummeling with compression the sound of the room. I like that, but we're gonna bring that way back down. All right, so now we're in stereo. So let's see what that added to the sound of the drums. So it's got a little bit more of a live feel to it. I'm actually gonna pull those back just a little bit more because that's a little more than I want. Whoops. Um, 
anybody has any questions about uh, what kind of mics I use in the drums or anything, let me know. Kind of pull back this kick in just a little bit as well, because it's just a little punchy for me right now. In fact, let's um, go ahead and zero this guy back out. And I'm going to use this guy here to pull back the punch. Uh, let's see. I think the drums come back in a sec. Nope, that's the end of the song. All right. punch is good sometimes I just I want a little less punch in the kick drum for this particular kind of gig because um, it doesn't really need to be that punchy cool so those are the drums um, I'm actually not gonna really do much work on the drums here because uh, I did a lot of it on the way in <coughs> um, so we also have these bongos and tambourine which we added way after the fact um, so given just a little taste of these guys here, so I, I have these guys bust together here, but I'm also processing them individually. This is the bongos, a little compression there, um, to even that out. Same thing with the tambourine, quite a bit of compression here. This is cool. These are Kilo Hearts, um, these come with the slate stuff. And uh, it's pretty simple, but it gets the job done. A little EQ here. This is the tambourine trying to... It was pretty bright, so we took a lot of that out. A lot of high end out. Um, and then the bus compressor just on the whole thing. And then I'm sending the reverb out through the bus. Um, bongos are a little reverby as I'm listening to them now, but I think when we kind of evens itself out. All right, so, um, yeah, um, so then I also, uh, the drums, the kit itself, which actually this should be over here, uh, kit itself is also going through a bus compressor, um, not taking much off, it's just a little, little something to give it a little love, um, this is kind of, I'll just take it off real fast. Well, you can also hear it's giving it a bit of a gain boost there. <laughs> so then with it back on, just kind of pulls it together a little bit. All right, so that's the drums. Um, jumping over to the bass. So the bass I recorded at the studio. Um, just DI like right into the desk um, so this is what the bass sounds like I already have a little compression EQ on here so let's just take that out so that's the bass sound of the bass and that's with compression on it very little compression on it. It's a simple bass line. It doesn't really... I played pretty evenly here. Um, so EQ-wise, I don't have much to it. It's kind of a clean bass sound, as it is. I just pulled a little... Just have a little bit of a dip here. Um, this says it's 378. Um, but it's just kind of sweeping out here between 200 and 500. So just a little bit of extra clarity and um, I probably had the tone up pretty far down when I recorded it it's uh, kind of a dead kind of a sound so um, it's kind of looking at the interplay of the drums and bass together here 
nice thing about a punchy kick drum is you don't have too much, um, not too concerned about interplay between the kick drum and the bass here because I'm getting a lot more punch than like boom from the kick drum. Um, I like this particular plugin. I would almost go probably for the Fat Filter Pro Q kind of do the same thing. I just like to be able to actually see where the frequencies are. It's nice to see where you have like extra frequencies um, and be able to visibly catch them like that. It's a bit of a game changer instead of just kind of trying to hear, you know, or like, you know, mud is probably at whatever, but um, anyways. So drums and bass there. I'm actually going to go ahead and just uh, start kind of muting out the stuff that we're not going to use for a sec. So we'll add the guitar back in here. So this is one guitar, two mics, and we've got them hard panned here. So this is the bus for the guitar. I really don't really need that channel. Um, just a little bit of light compression here. Uh, looks like I gave it a boost around 2.25k. Just a little clarity out of it. Pretty nice sound too. trick here is we start to get into this other stuff here because we have some kind of accessory stuff that we've added on top of sort of our basic guitar, bass, and drums here. And we've got the mandolin and the banjo. And uh, these are pretty much going to go through the whole thing. The mandolin cuts out here in the middle for the solo because um, it was distracting to have a rhythm mandolin and a solo mandolin, but they're on different tracks and we'll go over that. So this is just the mandolin, kind of blended with the guitar here. So on top of that, let's add the banjo in here. It's one thing I don't particularly like about this um, Slate Virtual Mix Rack is it opens up with like a whole bunch of plugins preloaded and then you kind of have to go back through and, and take this stuff out. So I have not done all of that as you can see. Um, so what I'm actually really just working with here is um, I've trimmed it up. It was pretty quiet when I recorded it. Perhaps over compressing this a little bit. Let's bring back the compressor. So this is the mandolin that we're working on right now and I'm going to go ahead and just solo that out by itself for a second. So I might change the compressors out of this um, distressor emulator. It hits a little heavy for me. Um, not unlike the actual distressor, which I like the distressor. That's just a little bit much. So let's take this, let's try this guy. I like this guy a little better. So like, I'm just gonna take a little bit off in compression here and just basically just gives it a little bit of evenness and a little more than that. Just gonna hit it with a little makeup there because it's a little quiet. Let's put that back into the guitar now. Um, 
So you can see I've cut a little bit around 3k here. It's a little bright. Um, give it a little boost around 800. Um, that's nice. The difference, interesting difference here between this is the EQ before the compressor. EQ after the compressor. Um, I like it this direction myself. I'm going to give it just a hair boost on the highs. All right, so then we've got the solo here, but that's not there now. Um, cool, so this is kind of, with this project, we've had a few songs like this that have had mandolin and banjo and guitar kind of all at the same time. So getting the balance of those three things right now is kind of what I'm um, going to focus on for just a couple of minutes. The idea is for these things to kind of just poke their heads out when they do. So um, you can see currently I don't have any anything on this banjo, so I'm actually going to go ahead and import um, import this banjo from another song, which would be this one. Um, if anybody's a Pro Tools user out there, this is a nifty little trick, and um, I believe that this, such a thing exists in other DAWs, but basically I'm just going to take, um, I have this kind of a preset thing for, just to grab the plugins, and I'm also not going to take any of this other stuff either. Um, I'm literally just importing the plugins from this channel, so basically I already mixed a song that had the same balance of instruments and the artists like the way that it sounded so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this banjo in from that just the plug in for this so you see I've now brought in my EQ and my compression um, and this guy I've used a little get a little high end on there solo back in so um max played all these uh guitars mandolin, mandolin banjo max played all that stuff um in addition to the lead vocals which we'll get into so let's see what we've got here more In this case, I actually uh, pretty much have that set up very similar to how I have the rhythm track. Um, I'm going to leave, leave the distressor on the solo. Let's give it a nice, nice evenness to it. Um, so I also have this uh, in terms of reverb here. Uh, through this plate.
right, so let's go back to the solo one more time. So I just want to make sure every single note here is nice and crisp and clean. So a um, couple ways to do this. Um, you can either automate the volume. I've quite taken a liking to automating the clip gain line here in Pro Tools, um, which instead of just instead of automating the volume of the track as it comes out, it's actually automating the clip gain. Uh, so therefore, f um, it'll you know hit the compressor um, or the EQ at like a similar level where I'm basically trying to kind of even stuff out. So if something's a little low, I'll bring it up and then it's going to hit the compressor in the same way as opposed to uh, just bringing up the volume of that. So it's a matter of it probably makes very little difference. I've, I've kind of taken a liking to doing this. This just takes a little bit of finessing and takes a little time to get there. Um, so let us add the vocals back in, shall we? So go ahead and add in all these vocals, all the background and stuff. But we're gonna take a second, probably, to um, to focus on the lead vocal. Things are getting out of hand, even playing in the band has become a chore. I don't look for. So got a DSer here. So I'm leaving town, See, headed too. west. Work there. Skies are wide, and I can rest my weary mind from all it wants to do. And all I'm looking forward to is nothing. Nothing's what I've got too little of. If you need to find me, just drop me a line. RFD Missouri Avenue. So <laughs> this isn't really a pop song. Where vocals are going to be super high in the mix. However, uh, you know lyrics are important, so you're going to hear. We're going to make sure we hear every single every single lyric here. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and mute um, mute our background vocals here, and we are going to go ahead and kind of what we just did with the mandolin solo. Um, we are going to do. Same with the vocal. Things are getting out of hand, even playing in the band has become a chore I don't look forward to. Um, so I'm leaving town, to headed west, the skies are wide, and, and, and I can rest my weary mind from all it wants to do. Not much EQ. And all I'm looking forward to is nothing. Nothing's what I've got to Sorry, I talked over myself here. Let's uh, let's go back. So I'm leaving town and headed west, where skies are wide. West, where skies are wide. Skies are wide. West, where skies are wide. Town and headed west, where skies are wide. Down and down and headed west, where skies are wide, and I can rest my weary mind from all it wants to do. to watch. 
much time to think That's what I'm gonna do That's what I'm gonna do Paths to walk, porches to sit Fields to mow, guitars to pick So, um, this singing style is kind of kind of even as it is here. Um, so we're not doing too much work here. Um, there are things that look a lot different than this. Paths to walk, porches to sit, fields to mow, guitars to pick, that's... But, you know, you can see we're basically just evening out these words here. Guitars to pick, that's what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do. Caught that, but I could hear this little jump right here, so kind of even that out. That's what I'm gonna do. And somehow I got busy doing nothing. Nothing's awful hard to hold on to. If you need to find me, just drop me a line. So I always say that watching uh, somebody mix a song is like watching paint dry and. I would say that based on the attendance here, that's that's accurate. <laughs> so thanks for uh, those of you who are watching and sticking with me. There's a bit of an assumed uh, assumed right, level dirt road that of knowledge here. First car so I apologize if I'm going over anybody's head. Feel free to ask questions. I do have the, the window open the on my laptop in front of me, so I can ask, answer any questions as they come out. I'm gonna go back here because I wasn't listening to the vocals while I was talking. Dust rises from a dirt road that I can't see. Road that I can't see. This is from a dirt road that I can't see. First I know this actually sounds like a like an edit glitch, um, and this is been consolidated so you can't see the edits in the vocal but um dirt road that i can't see that is just a little catch in his first throat. car that's been down here Sometimes. about all week first car that's been down here about all week the sound of a distant train reminds me of you how i wish that you were here low in the mix, it's just a little reinforcement. This is going to be a tricky one here because I'm going to try to pull this up like in the middle of the... So let's see, this isn't too weird. in this until I can hear them. All right, so that is a vocal automation, and that is barely anything. Um, again, grateful uh, that this particular style of singing does not require as much um, as in, like, other stuff where sometimes it's kind of every other note. So um, let's go ahead and add these background vocals back in. Let's just... Um, Let's just listen to the vocals together here in the chorus 
and so we have um, Daisy Royce and myself singing the background vocals here. So this is what this sounds like. And all I'm looking forward to. <laughs> uh, where's that little squeak at? I gotta find that, huh? <laughs> all right, that is me. That is this very chair that I'm sitting in, in fact. So let's take that out of there, huh? All right. Wants to do. And all I'm looking forward to is nothing. Nothing's what I've got too little of. If you need to find me, just drop me a line. RFD Missouri Avenue. All right, so you see I'm a little disorganized here. Um, in fact, I'm going to fix that really fast here. Um, so basically I just, you know, I've been, been bad and have not been, uh, giving my buses names. So this is my pull eight reverb. That's better. See how much better that is all of a sudden. This is my slapback. All right. So I'm going to add a little slapback on these background vocals. Cause I think they could use a little slappy. All right. Wants to do. And all I'm looking forward to is nothing. Nothing's what I've got too little of. If you need to find me, just drop me a line. So, um, so with this particular vocalist, I was kind of getting this to blend in a little bit. So I'm gonna pull this this guy back up here again, which kind of helps us see. Wants to do. And all I'm looking forward to is nothing. This right here, we're gonna Nothing's out. what I've got too little of. Less. If you need to find me, just drop me a line. RFD Missouri Avenue. So that's that. That's a well. Bit there's books to read and beer to drink, birds ear. to watch and time to think. All right, let's go back. Wants to do. And all I'm looking forward to is nothing. Nothing's what I've got too little of. If you need to find me, just drop me a line. RFD Missouri Avenue. So record all these vocals. Well, there's the books to read and beer to drink, birds to watch and time to think. That's what I'm gonna do. Path to walk. All right, so let's see here. And somehow I got busy doing nothing. Nothing's awful hard to hold on to. If you need to. So I'm actually gonna jump. Let's see, you've got another layer of vocals that come in a little layer on. So let's see. And all we have to do is nothing. Nothing's all we'd want to do. If you need to find us, just drop us a line. RFD Missouri Avenue. RFD Missouri Avenue. RFD Missouri Avenue. And all we'd have to do is nothing. Nothing's all we'd want. So the word I was looking for before um, everything got, got lost there, saturation, the capitator um, is going to provide some saturation on these back, background vocals here. It's very subtle. Also gives a nice low cut here on the getting these balance, balance these vocals just right here because it's a little tricky. If anything, I'll drop a little bit more slap back on these background vocals and maybe a little bit more reverb as well. Wow, there's a lot of reverb on those already. All right. And all I'm looking forward to is nothing. Nothing's what I've got too little of. If you need to find me, just drop me a line. Time to think, that's what I'm gonna do. 
All right, so um, um, that's pretty much the song. And, um, you know, I did a little work uh, ahead on this. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I do mix as I go uh, quite a bit. Um, and um, some people uh, like to hear rough mixes as they go. So we've done a lot of rough mixing. This song has been, you know, we did the drum bass tracks, uh, most of the recording for this song um, a year ago. So <clears throat> we've been kind of adding as we went, um, and I've been kind of mixing as I go a little bit, but I just wanted to talk, uh, real fast for anybody who's watching about the master bus. Um, right now I just have this, uh, uh, limiter L2 ultra maximizer on here, which just brings the overall gain, uh, brings it up, brings the volume up, um, basically, basically just so uh, the client can, can hear it. Anyways, um, so, but, uh, on the way out to mastering, which I'm going to be doing myself, but, uh, in either case, myself or somebody else, um, I like to add... This is a little virtual mix bus thing, and we just like to pretend we're on a Neve console here. Nothing's awful hard just to hold on, on to. to if you need to find me, just drop me a line. This is my song. RFD Missouri Avenue. And, um, throw a bus compressor on here as well. Dust rises from a dirt so road just, that I can't see. I just call it first car that's been glue. down here yeah, about all week. I might refer to that as glue, master. The glue. sound of a distant train reminds me of you. Just taking the peaks off of things a little bit. It's really me. And all we have to do is nothing. Um, if you want to hit it a little harder, I like the 2500, and there's a cool preset in here. Um, have to be careful with like where the threshold is set and how much it actually starts taking off. Um, and the manual makeup is set, and I usually like to turn that back to zero because I'm on my master bus, and I usually like to try to get it. Nothing's so awful hard, hard to hold on, on to. If you need to find me, just drop me a line. without it. RFD Missouri Avenue. And with it, it makes a difference. In fact, this is probably hitting a little harder than I might usually go. About like this. Um, so that's like you know about half of what I might do on a master. Um, another fun. Dust rises from a dirt road I like that I can't see. I usually see. do this on the mastering side. First car that's been down here about a week. Not do this if I'm sending uh, out to another mastering. The sound of a distant but train I do. Reminds me of you. Do like a little virtual tape, and it's also just kind of fun to watch the tape as you go. So. Um, nothing, nothing's so what do you think? Let's um, I'm gonna play the song now that we've uh, gone through and done a little bit of mixing on it. Oh, the last thing here. This is actually an important thing that I need to do. So the song starts. Things are getting out right of here. Everything starts together. The drums and the things are getting out of hand even playing in drums and bass and everything starts together so i'm gonna go ahead and cut all these guys off right here bye and just a nice clean entrance for everything cool things are getting out of hand even playing in the band has become a chore i don't look forward to so I'm leaving town and headed west where skies are wide and I can rest my weary mind from all it wants to do. And all I'm looking forward to is nothing. Nothing's what I've got too little of. If you need to find me, just drop me a line. RFD Missouri Avenue. Well, there's books to read and beer drink birds to watch and time to think that's what i'm gonna do path to walk porches to sit fields to mow guitars to pick that's what i'm gonna do and somehow i got busy doing nothing nothing's awful hard to hold
dust rises from a dirt road that I can't see. First car that's been down here about all week. The sound of a distant train reminds me of you. How I wish that you were here. to it i realized i've kind of felt like the banjo and the mandolin were a little hot so i just kind of pulled them back a little bit so it just kind of gave everything it's um except for these percussion tracks it's a nice little clean endings so we have to do it master Be a line. RFD Missouri Avenue. mandolin is First car that's been down here about all week. The sound of a distant train reminds me of you. How I wish that you were here with me. And all we have to do is nothing. Yeah, nice balance there. Nice balance. All right. Um, so thanks everybody for hanging in with me. It's uh, been almost an hour here. Um, uh, so this, it should be, uh, available to watch, like, in the future, if anybody is watching this in the future and has any questions about any of the things that I did, or thinks that I did something terribly and wants to tell me that I'm wrong, I'm open to any and all of that, and, um, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging, and, um, if there's any interest in me doing this again, I'd be happy to do it again. All right, thanks everybody.